Hello, it's Rufio. I'm a streamer for the 100 Devs stream team. 100 Devs is a free, full-stack, online JavaScript bootcamp and agency where you can learn to code for free and get a high-paying job in software engineering. If you're interested in that, you can check the links in the description below. Funny thing is, I am recording this part of the VOD on uh, January 28th, and this was like December 12th, but I incidentally or coincidentally i don't know the correct word and wearing the exact same outfit <laughs> that was intentional absolutely in this vod i had been working for two weeks in my new job as a software engineer at a startup we also talked about a lot of other things we talked i went on a rant about the u.s medical care not medical care medical system medical school system um, what it's like to have money, like regular money coming in and stability in that way. Feeding oneself properly, I don't. Um, and like those meal box thingies. We did some audio engineering. I tried to fix that when I was editing so that I wouldn't be at such like vastly different levels at, of like sound in different parts of the VOD. We did some coding game. It didn't go particularly well. I'm not the hugest fan, but we did do it. Just like a like a group style coding challenge game. We talk about coding journeys like the Trafasaro projects to get to that software engineering job and just like the overall process. Uh, some viewers asked me about that and I gave my input and then like philosophy. And you know, that was basically it. So, I hope you enjoy this video and have a good rest of your day. How is everyone? Hey, High Priest. How was your weekend? It is snowing outside today where I am, except maybe not. It kind of looks sunny from the crack. I can see my door. I'm in a cave. It's so dark. I have such bright lights on me just so you can see me. <laughs> Oh, Fortnite is a full-time paid dev. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> yes. I'm doing pretty good. Had a good weekend. I like my job. How about you? I feel like I had something to say, and I can't remember what it is, so that's cool. Well, if it comes back to me, I'll tell you, but it probably won't. My sweater looks so cozy. Thank you. I got it from Goodwill. I like it. It's... It's like a sweater dress, a swiss, <laughs> and then I have my cardigan, which is also from Goodwill. I just like, you know, reuse, reduce, recycle. Hey, Scani, what's up? <laughs> I didn't realize that both of these were from Goodwill until now. Is this considered a sweater or a cardigan? What is the distinction? Hey, Fred, a swiss for the SWE. <laughs> We sweating up in here. <laughs> Finally feeling better and testing negative for COVID. So great ones for you. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry you weren't feeling good to begin with. I'm glad you don't have COVID. Always a Benny. So my dad, I watch uh, Bachelor stuff with my mom and my sister. My dad will come watch sometimes. <sighs> and there was this one time there was a vet who the main person was dating and my dad's like oh he's a vet she better date him so she can get, get all those bennies and he just kept saying bennies over and over again instead of benefits there's bennies you know those bennies and then when he found out uh she dumped him he's like but what about the bennies <laughs> and now i just it's a permanent part of my mind you think i'd call it a cardigan oh yeah no it's Separated, separated, separated. All those bennies. Isn't Benny slang for Benjamins? Is it? I don't actually know. I thought it was Ben. Maybe it is. E either way, there it's kind of money related. So hi, Ivan. Very awesome of your dad to nickname benefits. It really is, and it's kind of weird. It's just like he doesn't say stuff like that. So, how was y'all's weekend? I really had something I was gonna say. I just can't. I can't remember what it was.
You drink hot chocolate and bake stuff. That sounds incredible, actually. Lazy but good. That's good. I was about to say I love you so much. Okay. I just wanted y'all to know. I love you so much. <laughs> Bring my tears. No, actually, I, like, went to the bathroom after I started the stream, and then I came back, and we're, like, two minutes in, and there were, like, six people watching, and then I had, like, a moment where I was, like, I can't believe people watch me. Like, why? It's so nice. So, it's so nice. I do love y'all. Cry, Fio. <laughs> Baked the hot chocolate. I bet you there's something where that's a... I bet you there's a thing. Baked hot chocolate. Cholo kit. <clears throat> yeah, there is. I knew it. What is it? It has chocolate, butter, eggs, and sugar. I'm not, I'm in like an extremely anti chocolate phase of my life. That sounds disgusting. But if people like it, then that's that's good, probably. I don't know. There you go. Telling me those reprobates is the reprobates is the height of your work. That was a fancy word. It really is though. Good morning, Peter. How are you? Did my first paycheck land in my account yet? So I started work on November twenty eighth. Um and lost my train of thought. But okay. Words are hard. I got one day of the last pay period. And then my first chunky one is going to be, like Vantaboard said, in three days on the 15th, I think. So that will be really exciting. I'm so excited to pay off debt. <laughs> Adulting is fun. Currently a paralegal and you want to get into web development. Do you think if you grind it out for two, one or two years, you can make the career switch? Yes. Um... I grinded it out for two years. Very slowly. It wasn't much of a grind, TBH. I was really awful at grinding. And now I have a job as a dev. I have a job as a dev. I can't get over it. I can't believe it. Anyway, if you do 100, exclamation point, 100 devs, exclamation point, Discord, you can learn about 100 devs, which is a free online software engineering boot camp with full stack javascript but it's like web development and you can do that 100 percent for free and the discord will be like the community the other one is just telling you about what it is anyway i highly recommend it so yay money and paychecks seriously though do i have a degree in cs no i have a degree in philosophy and spanish fun you know that i've talked about how i feel more real at that point yeah we'll see because like i still have like 250 dollars to my name which you know I'm feeling I'm feeling extremely wealthy right now and that's not even a lie like I really am um but like if that's feeling extremely wealthy like <laughs> what is a thousand's gonna do <laughs> I haven't had like a thousand dollars in my account for two years is the ping broken no mother trucker dude okay let me fix it cloud bot is off okay wait now, if you do exclamation point, Discord exclamation point, 100 devs, they will work. I think. My name Paychecks. Did Rufio get a first paycheck? Three days, baby. You have a degree in criminal justice. I've inspired you to do the switch. I'm glad. I didn't know I was inspirational, but, like, I highly recommend it. It's hard. I'll, I'll be the first person to say it's a, it's a hard career field, and it's hard to get into it, but I think it's worth it. I don't think it being hard should be, like, a bad thing i guess i just think it should be realistic i have info revolved into rich you <laughs> you're rich but you're not wealthy some of your ass is something around negative thirty six dollars thirty six thousand dollars wow you hit the trough hard you have to restart trough 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 that's how you say that word trough trough english i did too i was in the trough of sorrow from so i started in october 2020 i was really on top of it until probably about february 2021 and then i was in the trophosar from february 2021 to november 2022 what that's a long time but you do get out of it the negative 30s from your auto loan oh, okay i get you 
Well, Theo, I'm loving these nicknames. You're 22, so you hope it's not too late. I'm 25, so I don't, I don't think it's too late. I don't think it's ever too late. Do I look like I'm not, do I look younger than 25? Probably do. <laughs> I do, huh? I want to know. I've seen other people way older make the switch. Because there's some wealthy people who aren't rich per se because they're having cash. Oh. I look like a million bucks. Ah, oh, shucks. Stop it. <laughs> I don't, like, own anything of value. My computer, I own that. That's a value to me. Or to most people. But that's about it. I have a $300 bike that I've never written, ridden. Because ridden. I live on, like, lots of hills. And I just don't have... The motivation to bike up those, so that's cool. The knife determination will power most switches are possible. True. Saw coding game in the title. Am I doing some coding game today? Yes. So I was talking to Vantaboard before the stream because we worked together. And I was like, I don't know what to do for stream. I'm so uninspired all the time. I just don't even know what to do anymore. And then Vantaboard's like, what if we do coding game? So yes. We are coding roof your face right now. I can look up Code Wars. Yes, I've done quite a bit of Code Wars on this channel. The difference with coding game is um, that we can all do it together at the same time. I mean, technically you can do that with Code Wars, but you're not together. You're just doing it separately together. So that makes sense. <laughs> So do we want to get into that, or do you have any other questions for me? Or shoot the shit. Your motivation for not biking is that you don't want to die. True, though. You've used coding game before. You need to get back into it. I used it briefly today when Vantaboard was showing me what it was. <laughs> so uninspired. So sick and tired. The, those parts of that song are just stuck in my head. All the hatred you harbor. What tech stack am I working with at work? Right now it's Postgres, GraphQL, TypeScript, React, AWS, I think. Wonder if I've had the chance to look at the retirement stuff? No, not yet, because I don't have the money yet. Use it when service is still in beta. Which, uh, coding game or um, Code Wars? AWS, they want me to get a solutions architecture. Tech cert? No. I think we use AWS. I haven't done anything with it, though. Nice. Nothing really exotic there. <laughs> Excuse you? Excuse you? No, I don't really care. But I'm using TypeScript. God, TypeScript has just been... I've said this before recently. I had no idea how, like, big a deal TypeScript would be when I learned... When, when Peter taught it to us. Like, so many people so interested in TypeScript. Now I work it. I work it. I use it in my work. <laughs> so. You ask in three days. Nice. <laughs> You're leaving California next year, next summer, and taking your tax re revenue with you. Dun, dun, dun. I should use NeoVim to spice it up a bit at work. You know, I might actually get into that. We'll see. <sighs> right now, I work on my personal computer and then I have a work computer that I can't get the mic to work so I haven't really done anything with it I might turn it back in but I've been trying to figure out if I should return it for a Mac or another Windows and then just have it be in Ubuntu which is what Vantaboard's trying to get me to do it sounds like a good idea but then everyone else uses Macs and I don't know what do you think oh yeah they, exactly I'm trying to venture to use Ubuntu there you go <laughs> Join the Neovim Club. <laughs> Annie is my favorite type. Mine too. Then slowly arch. Dun, dun, dun. Did you know there are environment variables on your computer? I think I said this before as well. Just all these things I'm learning. Also, big news. I got a new mouse, which means I can scroll down and it won't scroll back up. It's very exciting. This is a big deal. I don't know if like it seems like that, but it really is. <laughs> it is a vertical mouse. This is my old one. It's just a cheap 
one, and then there's this one, which is more expensive. But I had the money to buy it, so that's cool. No way, new mouse, take my stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. It's very exciting. I'm very excited. I love scrolling down and it not scrolling up. It's, it's the best. Just got here, so you might have missed a recap about my job, but you hope it's going well. I don't think I actually recapped it yet. So, week two recap of the job. It was slightly painful to watch your old mouse slowly die. Isn't it weird using a vertical mouse? No, I've used a vertical mouse for over two years now, so. Learning TypeScript and React was more helpful than the job search in Node.js. No, I think because, to me, ty okay. React makes a lot more sense when you know the back end. So I think like like baby baby JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, whatever, and and Node are the foundation, and then you put some React and then you put some TypeScript type thing. Yeah, like Dan said. So second week at work, I have been tracking my hours, even though you don't have to, and I'm working roughly. Okay, actually, I could I could do this more specific. I could I could look up the real stats. Last week, I tracked 22 hours. That's not that many, but it felt like a lot. And then the week before, I tracked 23 hours. <laughs> Probably just six or seven hours. I So I had a, like a two-week, every two weeks, talk to your boss thing. And I talked to my boss, and I was like, I'm only doing like four to six hours of coding a day. And he's like, that tracks. That's good. And I was like... Okay. And so, okay. <laughs> and this last week I worked on, uh, making an unassigned user filter. So if there weren't, if, if like there was an entry in the database that had, that was unassigned, have a checkbox that lets you say, Oh, it's unassigned. Look, and I just barely did a pull request for that today with Vantaport's help. So. Is it four to six hours straight? Can you talk more about a typical day? So far, what my days look like is I get up at eight, take a shower or eat food or bum around. And then at nine or 9.30, I'll get on my, I'll get online. Um, at 9.30 every day, the CTO has office hours and so a lot of times I'll join those like on Friday I joined from like 10 to 12 which went over but that was okay and so I'll do that and then I'll like take like an hour hour and a half off for lunch probably um and then I get back on and kind of like try and do some coding myself and then I'll get off and then I'll get some help from Vantaboard and I'll get on later in the evening for like an hour or two or sometimes five. So it's like, it's kind of like, it's not continuous work. It's like, here's a chunk, here's a chunk, here's a chunk type, type thing. Any idea when you're going to rewrite it on rest? Lol, or sometimes five. It does happen. Sounds like a good rhythm. Um, and so I look at Slack and then we... We've only had two meetings so far. Well, I guess I've had three if we count the one-on-one. -on -one. Three meetings so far. Um, I pair program with the CTO and band board a fair bit, and I'm going to try to see if I can reach out to some of my other coworkers and co-work with them, pair program with them so we can be friends and also help each other, or just me. I don't know. I don't know if I could how much I can contribute but I will try and there's a lot of times where like I'll look at like the coding base and I'll be like I don't know what I'm doing and then I'll like kind of try and look it up and then I'll like try and write some stuff and it doesn't work and I'm like okay I think this is the direction I should be going and then I'll ask someone who is more senior than me I'm like is this what I'm supposed to be doing and they're like no it's this way and I'm like okay well that's fine, because I got there eventually. <laughs> but I haven't gotten to the point where I'm like, oh, yeah, this is what I should be able to do to make this happen yet. So, so, so thrilled for me. Thank you. Good that I asked. It really is. There was an attempt. 
We need to do a pair, pro, pair session where you can just check out how you work on a ticket. Yeah, I need to do that as well. We should plan that. Let's do it. Just want to say you're watching the VOD of my last stream. It's really inspired you. Glad to see if you can succeed. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm just like in the best spot of my entire life, I swear. I've never like... Ugh. I really apologize for how repetitive I am. But, like, I never thought I would get a job. And it's so happy to get a job. You know? You never think it's going to work out. You're like, okay, I'm going to get a job. I'm studying, studying, studying. I'm not getting a job. I'm studying, I'm studying. I'm getting help from people. I'm studying, studying. And, and I'm trying, and I'm coding, and I'm coding. And it's not working. And then it works. And it's like, what? <laughs> what? I can't. I can't. And I've been working for two weeks. So that's weird. Time flies with, with pair programming. I love pair programming. And it's because of stream. It's basically the only way I, I program. Which might be a problem, but... Thank you. Thank y'all. How has your job been, Leah? I feel like there are some other people here who started jobs recently. If you haven't started a job, how is the hunt going for you? If you're not hunting, how is not hunting going for you? If you are... Just having a job that you already had for a long time. How is that going? <laughs> so it's been good. It's 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 weird. I don't think I'm used to it yet. So, but my brother gets mad at me because he has to work eight hour days and gets paid less than me now. <laughs> And I'll be like, Ooh, okay, I'm just going to go bop around my house for a while and then come back. And he's still working. And then I get sit down and then he's still working. And, you know, am I winning yet? Hell yeah. We're all winning. Here, I'm just going to take the money. Some things I have been behind on, uh, figuring out what to do for streams all the time. Drawing cards. I'm still, like, two behind. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. How am I in chat? I'm great. How are you? Hey, Ted and Snoop. Thanks for the follows. Job is good. You didn't have that many email campaigns to do today, so you're just chilling right now and waiting to see if anything else comes in. So what is an email campaign? What does that mean? My work so far has been both front-end and back-end, but we've primarily tried to get me on front-end tickets because the back-end has been kind of wonky to set up, but both of my tickets, too. Um, have had back end in them. So you're tired, like always. So fine. <laughs> Email campaign sounds like marketing. No, there's some coding in there, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I understand quite what it means. Also, how many hours are you on a day, uh, Leah? Also, we have a Christmas party for my work, which is based in my state, which happened kind of non. Coincidentally, that's what I'm trying to say, coincidentally, except not everyone can come because, like, Vanta Board is remote and some other people are remote. So the people that are in my state can come, and and, and I'm kind of nervous to go meet people in real life. <laughs> and if you're rushed to production, so you're fine, really. Whoa, take care of yourself. An email campaign is designing HTML emails and sending to a mail list and tracking results. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Also, hi, Born. Christmas party. You had to meet the CTO so bad. It would have been cool to be this absolute smallest person there. <laughs> Hopefully we can get you over here soon, Vantaboard. We're meeting the CTO so soon. Yep, Wednesday. Yep. Gotta go. About to meet your work team in person. Hey, that's what we are just talking about. Have fun. It was nice to see you, Peter. So you do email development, like you make HTML for emails. A campaign is like the sales promotion the email is for. For each campaign, there's a specific amount of sends, versions, of HTML needed. So one campaign could have up to six sends and would need six HTML files. If that makes sense. But say there's a 50% off sale, that would be one email campaign. Oh, I get you. So like, do you just use HTML? Do you use... Do you do CSS? Are there other types of HTML? I'm so not ready to meet my CTO lark. <laughs> I can't believe there's such a thing as baked hot chocolate. It's wild. 
Is there like the CVS sales emails? Yeah, it sounds like it. The sales emails you get from companies, that's what you're making. And you do the HTML and CSS for them, but you use Pug. Oh, okay. So you use JavaScript in there. What baked who where? <laughs> we looked up baked hot chocolate earlier because Grat made hot chocolate and baked stuff this weekend, I think. Specifically doing the men's warehouse ones. And all the other brands owned by Taylor Brands. Well, that sounds no bueno. That's what I was thinking. It has chocolate, butter, eggs, and sugar. He also made Rice Krispie Treats and y'all, game changer. Okay, peanut butter Rice Krispie Treats. That's a real game changer here. Too much sweet. You're saying to the person who ate like two pounds of gummy worms this weekend. They were tasty and I probably won't eat them for 10 years because I ate too many, so. So your cousin says, my mom used to make those. They're the shit. Then she put chocolate on them and I'm like, mom, why would you do that? Ew. I'm not even a chocolate hater just right now. Now you're going to go do some work, but you guess a different team added a new repo. Time to docker system prune dash AF volumes and build from scratch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are definitely some words. I need to like understand docker better. I was thinking <sighs> they're like things that I would like to teach on stream, but then if I teach, I have to learn not on stream and that's more complicated so maybe this will never happen but if i ever have a good understanding of docker i'd love to talk about it on stream i do not but also get way to ruin a favorite food eat it all the time but actually i'm trying to cut out sugar from your diet okay wait a second I scrolled after watching a youtube video explaining why it's so hard everything you love has sugar i know it's bad for me everything in america has sugar in it it's insane and i could see why that would be really hard for styles and emails, you have to embed the CSS into each HTML tag with the style properly. So you'd always do it with JavaScript because at some point you have to use a mix-in to inject the styles in each tag. Hmm. Given final design file, so a designer creates it and then you just make the HTML to match it. So you get all of your images and stuff in the final sketch or Photoshop file that's sent to us from the creative team. Anything that's dynamic like a coupon module. We have to hand code ourselves using table layouts. Wow, wow, wow. That sounds difficult. So do you pair program at all? Docker system prune, clear out Docker images. Oh, thank you. Dash AF all force, dash dash volumes, clear out volumes too. Basically nuke your dev and, and rebuild from scratch. Wait, why did you have to do all of that? Couldn't you have kept some of it or no? Here every food is packaged has a tag telling you it has too much salt, sugar, carbs, Etc. It's too handy to pick the right poison. <laughs> you don't do any marketing. You're on the front end web dev team. Sucralose and aspartame are asparta, aspartame are excellent healthy alternatives to sugar. You work eight hours a day and forty hours a week. Oh my goodness, that is so many. They like make sure you do that. Aspartame, aspart, as aspartame, aspartame. As per tame. I see how it is. <laughs> now, like taming a donkey cat. You make major changes to your dev and just best to just rebuild from scratch. You don't want to end up with some pet and that you can't recreate. Mm. Once your temp, you have to clock in and out. Oh, and whenever you pick up email campaigns, you have to assign yourself to the ticket. Oh, so you can track it that way. Well, are you liking it? Chilean food tax. Chilean food. High in sugar, high in saturated fats or oils, high in sodium, high in calories. Oh, I'm going to put the little sticker on there. That's kind of cool. Sucaritas. Am I letting my hair grow out only until my shoulders? And then I'm going to cut it. Probably did my chin. There's a common misconception that fat contributes to weight gain, but low-fat foods can actually increase weight because they substitute the fat with sugar. Mmm. Which is a huge contributor to weight gain, but sugar companies have lobbied the crap out of Congress to point the blame at fat. Little thought. You are. Lots of deadlines, which is overwhelming at first, but you've gotten used to it and better at finishing campaigns fast. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Basically, buy your own poison. Pretty cool. 
I've been thinking about, so I don't eat well because it's just too much effort. I've been thinking about doing those mailbox things now that I could actually afford it. Does anyone do those? Are those worth it? Because you do have to still kind of make it. You just don't have to buy, you know. Sugar's bad because it feeds your body's cravings for its own fat and relies on sugar instead. Mm. Food can no longer have pets or mascots to fool kids. Really? You have things to say about the mailbox subs? Please tell me. These are the two things I'm thinking of. We could do the mailbox subs, or I could just make a smoothie every day that has tofu, so protein, spinach, so vegetable stuffs, fruit, because fruit, and and I don't know what else, but yeah, and just drink it every day. Too much work, okay. Used to, but could make a lot better for a lot less. Learning to cook is a good skill. I would say I know how to cook. It's just a lot of effort, so I don't cook, and then I don't eat. And that's not good. Now you see food as protein, carbs, veggies, and supplements. Reaches them because one of them got into some trouble. All right. Choose wisely. The ones you tried had too small portions for the price, and the recipes were almost always too complicated. So how do you feed yourself? Like, how do you, how do y'all feed yourself healthfully while not having the energy to do it? I want like an all-in-one drinky thing. I don't even like eating that much. I just want a drinky thing. Or just, just like a, I don't know, like Willy Wonka chewing gum. You hate cooking. If it's between cooking and not eating, you'll just not eat too. Woof. In Mexico, they ban mascots. Really? Soylent? Yeah, but even Soylent doesn't do it all the way. Like there's still a lot of stuff you're missing, I'm told. Soup maker? But isn't... That doesn't take care of a lot of your dietary needs, does it either? But a bank of no-brainer recipes, stuff you can make with almost no cognitive effort. But how do you know, like, the stuff that needs to go in it? Like, and get all the things. Here comes the blueberry pie. Spit it out. <laughs> make oats in the morning, leftovers to lunch, and make a big enough dinner to have lunch tomorrow. Soup's great for cramming everything in. You just found that for four months straight and got consistent labs from the clinic. Hmm. Isn't so much money? Maybe that doesn't matter. I don't know. Eat simple veggies if you're vegan. You eat supplements like protein, vitamins. I'm vegetarian, so to hell with veggies. I'm a vegetarian who hates vegetables. But also, being adult, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, just eat them anyway. You make lots of soups. Today's lunch with a split pea. Split pea is really sweet, though, isn't it? You don't even eat healthy, so you can't help me. Wish you could. I'll have to look more into it. Vent a board. It takes time to build a no-brainer list, but for you, an example might be the smoothie. You know how to make it without following a recipe? Uh, yes. I don't think I've ever followed a smoothie. There, are there smoothie recipes? Can soup is good, no-brainer. Open, dump, heat, eat. Aren't they as high in sodium? I really shouldn't even be like, like, I really should just be focusing on eating. You know? Do American foods have tags on them? No. No. But I think you can generally just assume that if it's processed at all, it just is crap for you in America. Because America. By this frozen veggie soup mix. Super handy. Legally, American food doesn't have to tell you what's in it. I think you're probably right. If you have a tough thing like this, you give yourself permission for any shortcut you need to get started. Okay, that makes sense. Nice meeting you, Rufia. <laughs> That's why whenever you get imports in the UK, you have your own sticker stuck over the top. Oh, interesting. One thing I've been eating is I, I grab a stir-fry frozen vegetable mix, and then I stir-fry it and throw in a canned beans, and then I put it in a tortilla with some cheese, and I eat that. It's not very good, but I like it-ish, kind of. It has vegetables, I don't know. <laughs> Costco has premium soups? Okay, okay. You don't know about healthy, but you eat frozen meals or soup. Okay. The lazy genius. Mm -hmm. My meals always sound sad. Okay, you're not wrong, though. Lazy genius. See food as the parts that make it and eat whatever you want, but make it balanced. I've been eating some pasta lately. That's not particularly good for you. But then I made it sure it was like, it's made of veggies, pasta. I don't know. Ingredients. High fructose corn syrup. Get these little mac and cheese micro dishes. Put some hot sauce in them and Cheetos. P 
Pantaboard. Pantaboard. I thought my food sounded bad. That sounds really awful. Do you like it? <laughs> my company's based in Utah? Yes. When you're done eating it, you left the bowl on your floor until you had the energy to clean it up. It was disgusting. It does sound disgusting. It's hard in 40 minutes. You should be working. Yeah. Take care of yourself. In Salt Lake? It's remote. How are any of us all alive? I don't know, honestly. And I feel like it's going to catch up to me if I don't take care of myself. You're alive because you get energy from your computer. I'm alive because I am an AI. I am. It's me. Hi. I'm an AI. Yeah. You see banana sausages or sardines and saltines years ago? Oh. Hmm. So good. Computer is like a maternal entity. <laughs> oh, my God. Enchilada is one of your no-brainers. Mm. Any data to survive, too? Well, see, I'm an AI, and I'm getting data from y'all, so you're feeding me. How do you feel about that? Stop. It's my data. <laughs> my mom used to make enchiladas, and they were honestly pretty fucking disgusting. But that doesn't mean I'd have to make them the same way, you know? <laughs> what are enchiladas? They're like a burrito. So you got, like, a mead and... I don't actually know. It's like covered in sauce on the inside, and then you smother it with sauce on the outside. What's a burrito? You take a tortilla, and you put on some beans, some frijoles, and you put on some cheese, and then you stick it in a microwave. Then you eat it. Yes. Two weeks. <laughs> Time to address me as senior now. Yes. Hello. That's me. I'm fantastic. Very much a senior dev at this point. For enchilada filling, you could do a can of beans, a can of enchilada sauce, a can of chilies, and call it a day. Enchilada sauce? Burritos, tacos, and nachos. Tortilla meat and veggies. When, when you wonder the Spanish you're speaking, remember the high degree. <laughs> I told, um... I introduced myself last week at work, and I was like, I studied, I majored in Spanish and philosophy in college. Do you know why I majored in Spanish in college? It's because I was going to be a doctor, and then I decided not to, and I had a bunch of extra spaces in my schedule. Um, I took 18 credits of classes in the U.S. 12 is the normal amount. I always took 18 because, I don't know, I just wanted to. So I was trying to get my language requirements for my degree and I tested out of it but I had to take one class and then in that class in Spanish they're like hey if you take three more classes uh you could have a minor Spanish and I was like I could do that tight I'll major I'll minor Spanish and they're like and if you do eight more classes you could have a major and I was like all right I'll major in Spanish so I'm not passionate about Spanish I'm not good at Spanish but I do have a major in it and so I feel like whenever I tell people that they like, they're like, oh, you speak Spanish? God, I wish I spoke Spanish so much better than I do, but I don't. It's a, it's a shame, 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 shame. <laughs> anyway, but I told people that at work and then the CTO messaged me and was like, so you speak Spanish? And I was like, a bit, why? He's like, would you like to do Something about translating stuff in Spanish and work coding stuff. And I was like, ah. And he's like, don't worry. You don't really have to speak super Spanish to do it. So we'll see if that happens. Why did I not become a doctor? Because they work 80-hour work weeks. And I think that's ridiculous. I think that is extremely unhealthy. And I'm not down to be part of that system. You're three hours away from double majoring psychology? Really? It was a trap. <laughs> Pyramid scheme into Spanish. You're not passionate about Spanish, too. <laughs> You're not passionate about English, yet you majored in it because it came easily to you. Just at chat GTP. Hello, Wesley. Proof of raging is the machine. No, really. I mean, I can't talk about other medical systems, but the American medical system is just ridiculous. For doctors, at least. I mean, I imagine it's for everyone else as well. But, like, you don't even initially go to school in medicine. Like, in the UK, I hear... You start from, like, 
secondary school and you go straight into your doctor like your doctor school which is six years but in the u.s you do four years of possibly completely unrelated topics you test into it you have to take certain classes to qualify and then you apply it's super competitive to comply to apply and then you do four years of awful schooling where you have like abusive people getting like shitting on you every day you don't get enough sleep you don't get enough to eat you're not taking care of yourself and then when you finally get to be like like hands-on medical student they don't really pay you when you get to be a resident after you graduate from your four years of medical school so you're four years in or eight years in at this point after that when you're a resident they don't even pay you well and you're working 80 120 hour weeks it's absolutely ridiculous and then you've got a bunch of people in the community who are just power tripping because they're a fucking doctor anyway i would have loved to be a doctor but i do not condone any of that your fiance is an OBGYN. the residency is insane hours at next job is going to have a better, have a better work-life balance even so the fact that they have to do all of that like that's ridiculous and how much do they get paid the U.S. education system is designed to make money. That's another thing. It costs you, for like four years of medical school, $250,000, I think, on average. And you're not even earning anything. Now, granted, doctors make hundred k above, but it takes a while to pay that off. How could anyone become an OBGYN is beyond you? That's it. You're not becoming a doctor. Thanks, Rubio. You saved me. No problem. There's some universities in the U.S. which offer a six-year BAMD program. Really? I haven't really heard of those. That's how we weed out the undedicated doctors. We seriously need to provide better incentives in college, like literally paying people to go to med school. Exactly. Literally paying people to do anything. Making education free. <laughs> my German friend was like, yes, I'm going to my next semester of classes and it's $400 euros and i was like oh. christ an american <laughs> i was lucky because i got a full tuition scholarship so i just had to pay for my rent and stuff but so many people do not get that you know if you educated twice as many doctors you could split their workload way down but that's just the thing they could they're not because they want to keep the demand high and so these places are so understaffed because of it. But there, there are people who want to be doctors. There are people who cannot get residencies, who have gone through four years of school and cannot get a residency and cannot be a doctor. It's ridiculous. I just hit my hand, hands on the desk if you heard that. This whole folks thing in Lee and you says, you've never seen that or heard it to be an issue in your life. Is it? I think it's meant to be inclusive, and that's about all I know about it. I said you became an online hacker. It's all on you, Rufio. Thanks. You have free education in Chile. That's great. This year, the medical pipeline at the moment is residencies. There are more medical student graduates than there are positions for residency. Yup. It doesn't make sense that every medical student would not get a residency. Like, we need doctors. Why? Like, they just spent $250,000. Why does everyone not get a residency? They need that to be a doctor. Education is so important. You want to be part of a society that can read and write. Yeah. Yeah. You're lucky because you dropped out of college and learned to code online. Nice. Thanks for listening to me rant. But like, I don't know. Whatever I learned, about, I don't particularly like biology, but I just, I think I would have really liked medicine. Like I, I shadowed some doctors at work and I saw some surgeries and God, I would have liked to be a surgeon. I really would have. I think... This sounds weird, but like, like, like orthopedic surgery, like bones, like, you know, like I saw like a surgery online that where they did a knee replacement. <laughs> anyway, I probably shouldn't actually say this because maybe some people would get grossed out, but like, it was really cool. I didn't, I wasn't grossed out. I just thought it would be super cool to do. That's okay though. How did the second week go? Did you miss it? Um, I can say it again. It was good. I worked 22 hours, did we say? 22 hours that I tracked, um, I was working on a separate ticket. My back end <laughs> broke a lot. I pair programmed with the CTO and Vanta board a lot. Um, I've been working front end and back end so far. 
it's supposed to be front end, but then I do back end because the tickets have to do with that secretly. Mm, what else did I forget, y'all? It's never too late to be a doctor. So right. No, that's what my mom says. She really, really wants me to be a doctor. <laughs> She's like, you still could do it. I'm like, I know. It was never that I couldn't do it. It's that I didn't want the lifestyle. And that's why I got into coding. It's the lifestyle. Learn a trade or learn to code. I think coding is a trade. Your current job is connected to the main hospital systems in the DC metro area. And these places are struggling with retaining workforce and everyone is overwhelmed. That's really sad to hear. Ortho is medical carpentry. <laughs> How's my second week of being an SWE? Did you hear I, I just did you hear what I just said or should I say it again? Like I'm fine saying it again. I just don't know if you already heard it or not. I worked by myself. Wait, what do you mean? Your mom also wanted to be a surgeon, but now she's retired and she still dreams about it. <sighs> On Grey's Anatomy, there's that one old intern. I think I watched one episode of Grey's Anatomy and I was like, and that was it. Did my hundreds of knowledge help you working as an SWE? Yes. I mean, I... I wouldn't actually say I work with any of the technologies that I learned in 100 devs, but I work with technologies that were built on the basis, on that basis, if that makes sense. You're getting your offer tomorrow for a telecommunications company. You're so excited. That's amazing. Everyone say congrats to Amazondor. Congratulations. What do you mean? You don't want to work 80 hours a week as a surgeon? What? <laughs> you just got here. You didn't hear. Yeah, so I worked like 22 hours this last week. I pair programmed a bunch with the CTO and Vantaboard here. Like I would like look at a problem and then I would try and figure it out and then I wouldn't get very far and then I'd like reach out to a more senior person and be like, is this what I'm supposed to do? And then the senior person would be like, no. And then I'd get help and then I'd get it mostly done because I was getting help. <laughs> we only had two meetings. Um... And I think so far, as far as I can tell, I only have like one meeting every two weeks. Um, what else? I do both front end and back end work. My tech stack is React and TypeScript, Postgres, GraphQL, but mainly it's just React and TypeScript. Did I watch Wednesday yet? No. The people who's, uh, Netflix I mooched off of stopped paying for it, so I don't have Netflix anymore. <laughs> How's the job going so far? I really like it. It's it's just wild to me that I can I, I'm getting paid to program that I actually got the job after like two years. Like that I actually got the job. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got the job. And I get my first like chunky paycheck this week and that's going to be wild because I will not have had that much money since years ago. <laughs> like, ah! and now I feel like an adult and I'm 25 and I don't know how I became an adult. How do you, how does that happen? Hey, blackout, sipping tears. I don't know how to say your name. Then BC Fo. Thank you. And uber geek thank you for the follows i have money now pay for netflix no no i don't even like watch tv basically i can afford many netflixes now i can pay for all of chat's netflix that's what i want to do with my life a plex server wait what's a plex server time to learn to sail the open seas Arr. for educational purposes only <laughs> did i have to give them any references besides vanta black um no i basically did not interview for the position because Vanda Black just like talked me up for months to the CEO and the CTO and I ended up chatting with the CTO and the CTO like first thing he said to me was like Vanda Board just keeps talking about how amazing you are and I was like that's really nice thank you Vanda Board like I don't know that I deserve that but um and then was basically talking like so anyway this is when you would start and it seems like you're a great person and we'll have you talk to the ceo and yeah and then i talked to the ceo and it was much the same and then like a month and a half later that's when i got the job <laughs> so <laughs> didn't know that pirates like parrots is true rufio well that doesn't work rufio is not a pirate 
but I do like parrots. How does that work? <gasps> Am I learning React on the job or did I have prior knowledge? Your job is using React, Express, and MuleSoft. What is MuleSoft? So I did some part-time work with Dan a lot. Um, and I use TypeScript and React in that work. And I would say that is where I learned the majority of React or like how to use it. I still, there are a lot of things about React I still don't really understand, like use effect. I don't understand. I've had it explained to me multiple times. I still don't get it. But like, I haven't really learned it on this job, but a different one, yes. A few good series lately. Good wor worlds of good about Andor. I have heard good things about Andor. Not no references. Um, Vanda, Vanda was a reference, so <laughs> now I have to live up to being amazing. They keep giving me really positive feedback. They're like, you're doing great. We're so happy with your work. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, Vanda was being nice. Cultural fit is so important. Yeah. And I really like the way we do things. Like the CTO doesn't believe in deadlines. Um, thinks they're all made up and arbitrary. And it's like you put in as many hours as you feel like gives you the best workflow and ask for help and you know like just a lot of vulnerability and just very healthy workplace like i just can't believe how lucky i am <laughs> who is dan a lot dan can code is one of the mods here um and my friend you'd much rather work with someone who can read a room and still be early in their coding journey over someone amazing who constantly makes people uncomfortable same probably no deadline sounds like heaven. Yeah, it's wild. Like, I was like, but what if I don't live up? <laughs> like, what if I, what if I'm not doing good enough? And the CTO was like, have you ever heard of this thing called imposter syndrome? And I was like, yes. I was like, it sounds like you're experiencing that. I will let you know if you're not meeting our expectations. Like, if you made a pull request, like, after two weeks or maybe more then maybe we talk but like you're doing great okay like just keep being open and communicating and checking up and you'll be okay and i was like <laughs> you know so it's wild it's, it's so nice it's a really nice job I'm very grateful. I want everyone to have a job like this. This is me sending the vibes into the universe. Vibes, 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 vibes. Okay. <clears throat> Can we swap jobs, Rufio, please? No, I like my job. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> Well, you tried. <laughs> All right, any more questions or should we do coding game? Coding game is like a coding challenge, like Code Wars, except we're all doing it together. We all, you get your own account and then we all try and do it and it's fun. Coding sucks. Well, unfortunately, that is not unfortunate, but that is the technical topic of the stream. What's the meaning of life as a developer? <laughs> Wait, I have to think of, like, a nerdy thing to say. I'm not nerdy enough to know. What would I say? <laughs> Solve problems. There you go. Let's watch a movie. <laughs> Make money. Close PRs. The answer is floats. Now that I'm a software engineer, would I rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? 100 duck-sized horses. What are they going to do? Kick me? You know, like, maybe they could. But I, I don't think they would hurt me. One horse-sized duck, though? Can you imagine? Maybe I would pick the duck, actually. What if I could... What if I didn't fight it? What if I rode it? What if I was a duck rider? Is there a meaning? <laughs> 42. You're not good. <laughs> hey, Dreams! I did get a job. I got a job two weeks ago. Well, I got it before that. But I started my job two weeks ago as a dev. Horse-sized duck would bite my head off. True. What code are we using? Any any language you want. We're going to make it so you do any language. Okay, so we do that one. We do this private class. We say all of the languages. Cobalt only. <laughs> and then I give you a URL. 
Where's the URL? I give you this URL and you join me and we are friends. We're friends. We join. We're doing coding challenges. It's a challenge. Coders. Coding for fun. You've been good, but your business has been doing so well that your dev journey has been delayed. So you're happy and not happy. Well, I'm glad your business has been doing well. I'm sorry that your dev journey has been delayed. Class of code. Foss is das. It's we're fighting with code. We're coding against each other. We all saw the same one? Yes. And you can pick your language. Because I said you could do any language. I'm going to do it in JavaScript. So. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that was a very genuine laugh. <laughs> against each other? Yes. To the death. What was that? Hello? What says poop? If you're interested in joining, you can click that link. I don't think I'm the Pingu fan. I don't know what the Pingu fan is. Have I mastered office politics yet? Queen of the water cooler? You know, I guard the water cooler. I don't even program. I just, like, just hug it all day. And then when someone comes to, like, get water, I just go, and, like, growl at them. But it's, like, not a very good growl, so they get water anyways. You're betting, man. Can someone do a poll on the winner? I don't think I can actually pick that many um, options. So, theoretically, yes, born. <laughs> they don't need to see your cam now. You may or may not do all your work in pajamas. I do, I do a lot of times. This is a legitimate outfit today. I don't know why. I think it's because I took a shower. All right, so we have nine of us so far. Fun. You want to do all your work in your pajamas. Mondays are for showers. Sure. I definitely shower every Monday. Mondays are for sleeping in. <laughs> See ya, born. Really start dying if we skip even a day of showering. Buy food? I have food. And you coast the rest of the week. <laughs> Last call. We've got 43 seconds left. Two lobsters? Oh, you know what I'm making for dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Caviar? Caviar and lobsters and shrimp. Shrimp cocktail. There should be a button to start a new class. I guess we'll see. It's going to be on my screen so you could tell. You would join, but you can't code. You provide moral support. All right, we're going to do it. Huh? Okay. All right. You bet on Vanta. <laughs> Pass the maximum number of tests as fast as possible. The tests are down here. Um, this is very small. You cannot see it. And this did not really help. God. Wait a second. Let me see if I can do this. There. So, water pours down steps. You can watch it pour. For each step, the water... Tr what? Travels down one more step. A step... A number of steps... N what the fuck? Okay. A number of steps N... For what? For which the water symbol for what? What? Water will pour down. What is this saying? Next line will be the water. What? What is this saying? Okay, what? Is it liquid water? <laughs> we actually have to code. Well, in theory, if we can understand what this is happening, like what is happening with this. I need the coefficient of friction, the service tension. Okay, so we got a number of steps N. Got, okay, I can spell got. Got a num of steps N, okay? Water pours down num of steps N. Stems, steps N. Can you see this? Is this too small? I declare a forfeit. I'm not even in the game and I'm crying. <laughs> um, I give up. <laughs> we have like 13 minutes left, y'all. <laughs> Output. Water pouring down steps. Does anyone... Okay. Y'all? You two? What is this saying to me? Can you please explain? You get it now? Please explain. I don't get it. 
Look at the examples. Water pouring down steps. Test case. Found nothing expected line. Expected plus. Expected m minus. Expected money. What? That did not help. Water pours down steps due to gravity. Scroll down. I cannot. Oh. Oh, I can. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. That does make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're given a number five then it says one two three four five on the next line but uh but uh but uh but why was it giving us money why did it do that why was it money so um we could say function Pour water. That's a parrot reference from a pollock parrot, if anyone knows. The water is the money. N, number N. And then we can say that given a number N, print out, print out a line and skip to next line and then return I'm not sure how this is going to work and i really wish this was more responsive than it is it is not so that's fine whatever oh good god i tried to scroll in and it got exciting uh, stop it uh. <laughs> okay it's got worse okay this is what i'm doing instead of coding yes no. Damn it. Okay. Okay. It's not for a given number n, print dash. It's more like for a given number n, start looping from 0 to n. Right. But you have to print dash, don't you? She's not used to having a mouse in this powerful chat. I wasn't using a mouse. That's the problem. Not for n? Well, now I don't understand this question. Print dash for each iteration in the loop. Oh. Okay. So we would say loop n amounts of times. What? Amount of times. And then we would say mm, print this dashy thing for each time looped and return printed thingy okay so <laughs> we're gonna do a for loop and we're gonna say for n equals zero and then we're gonna say n is less no jk for i equals zero and then we're gonna say i is I is less okay never mind I got confused less than n and then we're gonna say i plus plus and then we're gonna say maybe dude I'm not gonna get this how are you supposed to get them on other lines what is this one doing with this life why is it water shit we have to push it to water bet water where water console log always prints a new line i didn't know that console.log wait 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 what am i doing with water water is the water symbol yeah but what does that mean are you saying that jokingly or do you actually know what that means because i don't legitimately do not understand that this is a poorly written problem does such a godlike character exist you think you shared how the dash is only an example from the first output can't space e equals 
empty string repeat I cons console log space plus dash. What is this problem? I'm sure I'm sure you're right. I just don't get it. This is the greatest written problem of all time. Pure nurturing water pouring <laughs> down the steps right to our souls. <laughs> For I in range in range and whoa. Green, I don't even understand yours. Empty string repeat I will create as many empty spaces as the iteration you were on. Oh, no, that makes sense. For the first iteration, you want zero spaces before the dash. Iteration equals one, you want one space. Iteration two, two spaces. What's the SWE? A software engineer. Okay, so empty string repeat. Would you tell me more about repeat? I mean, if, okay, there it is. Numbers of copies to append, count and number. Return the string value that is made from count copies. The count is zero, empty string is returned. Oh, a space? Okay. Also a nickname for sweet. Where does water, where's water coming from? What are you returning? Serious wombat exorcist? <laughs> look it up. Look, look up. Do I see the water string? I got rid of it. The water comes from the sky. Sing weak as a Swede. <laughs> I got rid of, I've got rid of the water string? But I didn't like them. They're gone now. Rip. I don't like it when they say, like, read line. I don't know what that means. Rip script. You actually really need them. Well, I'm going to use that as an excuse for why I did not get this one. <laughs> Makes her own water string. Read line is a way of getting input from the user. But are we getting input from the user? Pour water. Copy 11 to 13. You don't like the rest of it? Ew, it's ugly. Okay, what is parse int? What is read line? So it says parse int out of the thing that they give you? You aren't supposed to have a function? Okay. I guess this program will read the input from the standard input buffer, and that's what read line does. <laughs> Damn. It inputs the n in water variables and then runs the rest of the code. Well, so would we say water instead of the empty string? Or nah? Person will try and convert the raw string read from the input buffer to an integer. So one string becomes one. Look at the output again. Yes, I see. But two minute warning. I didn't ever think I was gonna solve it anyway. <laughs> the repeating is just for the spaces. What? Console.log. Line, 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 line. Oh, you know what? That wait. It was a lie. It was only just a dream. What kind of game are you coding? Uh, we are playing coding game. Um, it dot com. You can join the next round because we're going to be over in like a minute. But we are currently doing this one. So water pours down steps. You can watch it pour. For each step, the water travels down one more step. Number of steps end for which the water, symbol for water, will pour down. Next line will be the water pouring down the next step. Output is water pouring down the steps. Whatever that means. And this is the input and output apparent. Oh my god. Okay, the input and the output apparently. <laughs> we want spaces and space plus the water. W water? Is it water? Water. Um, mark. 
Dark is the final strength. Oh no! Damn it! I really thought I was going to get that. Well, congratulations, four of us, apparently. <laughs> okay, should we look at other people's uh, code? We can look at these three. All right, Flippy, oh, it's Python. You know, I don't actually know Python. Int input. Integer, making input integer, maybe. Water, wa wa is it water or is it water? What is making that noise? Did you hear that? The doom? Is something... What is doing that? Python is cheating. Everyone share your code. Also Python. C++, alright. Hello, excuse me. Scony. JavaScript, all right. N equals parsint read line. Water read line. Answer empty array. It actually makes sense, even though it's in a language I don't understand. You can just mute the tab. What is is that what it's coming from? So we make a for loop where we say i equals zero, i is less than n, i plus plus console log making a template literal where we take a space, we repeat that i amount of times, and then we put the symbol for water right after it. Af, af, after it. Right? Did I understand that correctly? All right, let's look at the C++ one, even though I don't, I don't know if I'll understand. All right, so this is something that is happening for sure i'm almost sure of it um but we're not going to look any more into it so we made an integer probably i equals zero i is less than n increment probably by one when we make an integer oh it's nested j equals zero j is less than i and j is incremented by one something about a space um and 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 water no, I don't understand it. Qt is just the console log of C++. So whatever STDs are, hopefully they're not the traditional type. Um, <laughs> console log, space, console log, water, end. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to code in this coding stream. You just wouldn't cooperate. You'd feel like you understood it, but it didn't work, so you tried to structure it as a function. All right, great. Let's look at it. Did you share your thing? Oh, you did. All right. N equals parsint read line, blah, blah, blah. Stairs is empty string. Space is spaced string. Function get water. Taking an N, making a for loop that increments by one. Then we take the empty string of stairs and we add it to space that was repeated i amount of times what does that look like and you add water and then you break line and then you do stairs back and then you call it etcd's namespace and it holds those standard methods all right glad to hear it <laughs> you honestly don't even know what you're doing <laughs> so here um what did Grat need to do to get it? I don't actually know, so looks better than my attempt. And I was getting help from people, so that's cool. I just think that empty strings are not in the holiday spirit chat, okay? It's the principle of it all. Instead of appending a string to a for loop, it's better to push to an array and then use a join at the end. Because strings are mutable and you have to create a new string every time you append to a string. I understand all of this. Definitely top-notch understanding, you know. But shouldn't it have at least worked? Yeah, I don't know actually what didn't work. We grab was doing it was really hard to pass, but I think it should have worked. Hmm. All right. Could you put it in um like a run JS or something? Your first solution was with an array. Comment your code next time. All right. 
Um, scrawny. Wait, we we did look at this one. Your first solution. All right, I see you flexing. Yeah, we we did look at this, and I didn't understand, but I'm sure it works. Almost sure of it. Did you know that I sometimes have a hard time understanding how code works, and I'm still an employed dev? At least right now. <laughs> Should we do another one? Or is there anything else uh, we want to look at? All right, do it again. Okay, do we see anywhere in this page a place to say go again? I see back to home, and that's about it. I don't think I see another thing. We need to start again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. All right. Another. Your code didn't save. I'm sorry, Lark. I'll I'll give more warning beforehand. Okay, here's the next one. We can have up to a hundred people. By the way, what accident am I doing today? I wonder. You've been scammed. Someone should make a play again button. If only we knew how. If only. If only it was possible. So there are eight of us so far. If only we were unemployed. Can you send the link again? Yeah. There you go. You typed it out last time. Oh my goodness. OMG. Okay. Apparently I've been in La La Land. Hulk base. Hi. It's nice to see you here. We've been chatting on LinkedIn. Did I say your name right? Bass? Is it a bass if it's a fish? A bass or a bass? Bass. Probably a bass. I don't fish, so. Twelve of us, all right. This time for sure, I'll get it. It's a fish. All right, but is it said bass? Like, like ass? Or is it bass? Like, ace? You wish you could code, but you just start out your journey as a, to HTML as a programming language. <laughs> Bass like ass, all right. Ass with a B, <laughs> okay. All right, bass. It's nice to see you here, though. I don't feel like this accent's the same one I've been doing most of the time. Parents say bass like ass, but they're from Oxford. Oxford. Oh, are you from the UK? Is this an awful accent? I'm sure it is. I never claimed it was a good one. It's still fun to do, though. 15 of us, all right. We've got three more minutes for people to filter in. Shall miss trying to delay Rufio by suggesting nonsensical stuff in chat. You sound like when Rufio does the accent. Brilliant. That's exactly what I want it to sound like, so. Thumbs up. Self. Thumbs up. While we're waiting for this, I just want to show you really quick. Uh, we can see if Apo Apollo or water. No, I don't want the Bible. Parrot. All right, are you ready? This is what I was talking about. Uh, the parrot says, pour water. Anyway, now we're back. Are you ready? What's going on outside? There's water. Yes, there's water outside. Good bird, it's raining. Pour water. Yeah, water's pouring outside. Pour water. Pour water. Oh, there's water. Hey, Apollo, what's going on outside? Pour water. Yes, good bird. What's going on outside? Poor water. <laughs> Poor water. <laughs> Google thinks I need Jesus, apparently. Hey, Xenomorph, nice to see you. It was pretty good. It was a good week. Yeah, and I'm glad to see you here, even if you missed a bit. Oh, so this bird wrote that programming language. Yes, exactly. No, he's so smart. He can see it's raining outside. He says or water and he knows what it means and he also can identify um colors materials probably on tiktok but it's also on instagram if you're interested it's called apollo the parrot um the african gray i guess and then it started learning how to do sizes size differences it's fascinating he had been doing last chance more water <laughs> He knows his H2O. Yeah, he has actual comprehension of it. I like how I'm getting a lot of follows after the parrot video. That is exactly when that this is the best time. Thank you for all the follows. 
Please tell me you're going to hit your CEO with a British accent on your next chat. <laughs> Should I show up to a meeting and be like, hello, how are you? <laughs> it could be a redemption. Next meeting with the CTO or the CEO, completely in a shitty British accent. But can a bird identify when to use a for in loop versus a for of loop? Huh? Huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> quality content. I'm glad you think so, Spaceman. The parent nation attack. You don't want me to get fired? I don't think I would. I don't know what would happen, actually. All right, 10 seconds. You're welcome to join really quickly or not. Anyway, let's see. Let's hope this one goes a little better. Pour water. Pour water. Pour water. Okay. All right. Bob has in his sock box multiple pair of socks with N different colors. All right. Let's write this down. Box has n socks with n diff n different colors. For a match of football, he only needs. This is fitting with this accent. He only needs two socks with the same color. For a match of football, he needs two socks socks with same color. This is working out great for me, this responsiveness of this page. All right, so um, given the number N of the different sock colors he has, given the number N, output the least amount of socks he should take out from the box so he could, oh my God, this is a math problem. Uh, the least amount of socks he should take out from the box <laughs> so he can hang it with his jocks his fellow jocks, um, so he could have at least two socks of the same color. There, he says I should just go straight to the, uh, the, this part. We have to code again? God, what a scam. Is it variation or combination? I don't know. All right, so we spelled guarantee wrong, but that's all right. The least amount of socks he should extract so he could, or the output, the input is the total number. Okay, you know what? N is the total number of different colors. With in total, okay? Output is the least number of socks he should extract so he can guarantee he has at least two socks of the same color. So if you put in two, what? Wait a second. Put in two. So there are two different sock colors. If he puts in two, there's two different sock colors and he has to take three at least out because there will be at least a pair in there. I like everyone's like, I'm figuring, I finished it. Yeah, I'm still figuring it out, but that's all right. All right, so we, are we ever supposed to make a function banter? All right, so you're taking an N and console log answer. <gasps> Hey, Juice. Thanks for the fall. Oh, not the fall. The raid. Everyone say welcome, raiders. We are in the midst of doing a coding game challenge. So code size 13. Yeah, I'm trying to be close so people can actually read it. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I can't be that much closer because it, it won't. It won't do it for me. This problem uses all the wrong things. What did you all do today in the stream? Do I like them? Um, they've been kind of special so far, no, but that's okay. Maybe they'll get better code-wise. And people are solving them, they're just not me. I'm not solving them, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, so we are given N different colors of socks. You need two socks that are the same color. Can we help? Yes, but like, hold on a sec. We've got 11 minutes left. Let me try and like brain through this a little bit and if I'm like uh I need help then then you can help then does that work today you did advent of code usually you do coding game streams oh all right do you like coding game curious to see how I do I don't I'm not particularly good at programming so don't expect a lot think about the worst case scenario and then the next draw is guaranteed to win i am be so angry when this is done oh no in case you didn't, all didn't know, Rufio's British. 
<laughs> um, just for everyone who's coming in here, I'm actually American. This is a redemption, the voice, the accent, the shitty British accent, I should say. So not all are good. How do you participate? So you have to join next round in 10 minutes. Um, but I'll put a link in the chat and then you can like click join. American, what the fuck? It took three to four hours for this? Doesn't it time you? Is Utah really in the US? <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. All right. This is, I was supposed to be doing this. So if we make a function, if we want a function, I don't know. Do we want a function that we say is socks and we take in a different color of socks and we want to say, all right. So given N. Hey, Abby, thanks for follow. <laughs> Sound of salt all over, so you're all coming back. Well, welcome in. From the US, moved to Britain as a child, learned the accent, then came back to the US to stream. Exactly. As long as in the shortest mode, you should not make a function. Oh, my God. I just don't even know how to code, I swear to God. I think I'll become a doctor way easier. <laughs> okay, so... What do we do to make it so... We're given n amount of colors, right? Do we divide it by two? Is that what happens? Advent of code is different to coding game. That's what I hear. I hear. Oh, you're saying you spent, they spent three to four hours on Advent of code. I've never done Advent of code. This problem is about knowing how to code. Well, that's not good. Choose your own test case, pick a number of colors, and think about taking out socks. All right. So three, three minimum socks to take out. Oh wait, that's literally this one, that's two. So let's do this one. 26, wouldn't that be 13? Isn't it like divided by two everything? Remember doing this problem? Hey Ryan, welcome. Isn't it just divided by two? Isn't it? Is it not? You can tell me. <laughs> Think the worst case. What does that mean? Like, like you get the box of socks in the mail and like while they were sitting in the warehouse, a cat got into the box and peed on them and then they were set outside, top open and got bleached and then they got rained on but then they they didn't dry them out and so they smell like mildew. Is that the worst case? Think about the number of colors available and the and not socks. I can paint quite a picture. <laughs> I'm better at that than I am coding apparently. Get one from each color first. If you have 26 socks and you have absolute wor worst luck, you could draw 13 different colored socks. What's the link? Is it a command? So next round you can join. I will drop a link in the chat. But for now, we've got five more minutes on this one. Time to draw out the problem. Welcome back, Juice. Wait, how did you raid me twice? Also, it just occurred to me to give you a shout out. Sorry about that. Are you a German? Did it work? Oh, it did not exist. You forgot to turn it off. All right. Wait, I have to give Juice a shout out first. I got distracted. Like shout out. Shout out. All right, everyone, please check out Juice's page and give them a follow and like. Well, that's the same thing, probably. All right, how do I know German? I, I don't really. I can say Scheiße, so. Scheiße, yeah. My name is Ruth. Scheiße. I speak great German. Schnitzel. Mine ears. I don't know how to say it that 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 one though. Jawohl, Schweinhund. This is incredibly easy. I'm distracted. It's not really about the answer, you know, it's just about having fun. It's trying to hide Rufio's. 
You're not having fun. <laughs> 25, 20, what? Why? No, I didn't, wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to scroll. How is this the least amount of socks? The real socks are the ones we made along the way. Why? Okay. So it's saying if you have like any amount of colors, just add one and that will be the least amount of socks pairs you can draw out. Is that what it's saying? Can I do a different accent than British? Um, I don't know. Not well. I can do the, uh, the southern US one pretty well. If that's really the answer to this, this is completely idiotic. God. Cheese and crackers. So you literally say, what does it want us to return? Return n plus one. Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, just console log it. Oh, it's, it's getting mad at me because of this. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. Wow. 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 You know, you know, Dan, you were right. That wasn't even a coding problem. You have to console log the answer? I guess so. I don't know. Because you're not ever really using return or functions, I guess. There was less a coding challenge and more word problem. See, I freaking hated those in math, you know? Oh, no, but say maths. In maths. <laughs> Why don't they do better? Wait, how do we know when it ends? How do we know when it ends? Does it, oh, it says right there. All right. Too many words. Seriously, though. I thought there'd be explosions and stuff in this game. Was disappointed. Ohio accent? Wait, you want me to try doing that? I don't know what it sounds like. I don't think I could do it. All right. Um, I mean, we could look at everyone's stuff. Should we, though? If you turn the flip upside down, I'm in first place. Wait, what are we saying no and yes to? Look at flippies. Oh my god. <laughs> Especially the, what? What is that? Do you hear that when it does, when it goes poop? Thank you everyone for the follows. Uh, zombie killer whale, I love your name. Just mute it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Mute. Oh, I can. Did you know you could do that? I didn't. Hard to not hear that. Oh my god, I never turned it back down. I'm so sorry. I turned it up for the bird. Woof. Nobody hears anything. It's in your head. <laughs> this one's JavaScript. Read line plus one. I don't know why this read line shit really screws me up. My voice is super low. Really? I have no idea where that would be. Like, honestly. How am I supposed to make sure... How do I make it better? How do I make it... How do I do that? Because now you're not deaf. Can I just turn up my mic? It's all the way up. Like, all the way. Learn to audio engineer. Thank you. Will do. The settings wheel on your mic. I did. Then, oh, add the gain filter. All right, everyone, wait a second. And turn it up. All right. Oh, yeah, it looks higher. How about now? Just high in my point. I'm so sorry about that. I had no idea. 
I really am so sorry. Why does this always happen? I think I have everything down to science and I never do. So that's cool. I just really wanted all of you to strain to hear me. Just be super interested and invested. Should get to where it's barely creeping into the red. Is that too loud? Alright, let me see. How about now? Wait, is it barely creeping into the red? Hello? No, it's not. Hello? Hello? It's Rufio. Oh, it kind of looked like it then. How about now? That's way better, darling. Hello? <laughs> it's Patrick. No need to adjust it further. All right. So sorry that it was so low. Like, honestly. Should we do another game? I am irritated that it's given us two shit ones so far. But, you know, that's all right. Now more people can join. It'll be so, f so fun, I'm sure. Should we start the accent timer, honestly? <laughs> I can't believe I was so quiet for, for two hours, everyone. Two. Oh, that, I just flipped you off. Two is what I was trying to do. All right, here you go. Look on average rating players. I don't think they let you, actually. It's been months quiet. This, oh, I'm like super red. Did, was that like super loud? I don't know. It's, this makes me scared going into the red. I can fix it being red. I don't know if, okay. Why is it so complicated? You can't hear anything anymore. Compressor and then have it be three zero. Wait, wait, I don't understand the ratio three zero zero one like this. Did it get better? Did it get better? Be be better? Better? How's that? If I talk really loud... Oh yeah, it's not going crazy. That's good. Now boost your output gain. What does all of this do? On the, comp on the compressor. Oh dear. I turned the wrong thing up. On the compressor output gain. Eight. I don't know what any of this means. But I've done it. Wait, now it looks really high. That looks scary. Yeah, like you're talking to a ghost. But is it like painful? It's like really going into the red now. It's like scary. The compressor will make it so that if you yell, it will squish the audio. It won't go over the red. There's nothing to go over. <laughs> Not anymore. Feel free to join the game. Just need to click the link. You don't want it staying in the red constantly, only when you're loud. See, it's like it's like slightly in the red constantly. Negative two threshold? What does that mean? Okay, we're at negative two threshold. And a limiter. Oh my god. How do we how do you know what any of this means? Okay. What's this game? It's basically just a it. Am I really not like super, super hurting your ears? The compressor output gain? Oh. All right. So how does it sound now? I don't know anything that I'm doing here and it just keeps going super. Yeah, I have a limiter on it. Mm -hmm. Is if you if you want to join, this is just a coding challenge, basically. But we're all doing it. I sound slightly British still. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Okay, well, if I am, like, deafening you, please, please tell me. Hey, everyone, thank you for the followers. I appreciate you. You've got nine seconds you to join. You can click that and still join. Now I feel like I need to talk really quietly. <laughs> all right. Let's go. There's a scratchy, breathy sound after you speak. Maybe the gain? Okay, what do I do to change it then? What do I change it to? Do I just turn it down? I don't know. But actually, like, what do I do? You're messing with my audio and I don't know any of what it entails, so. Let's start with the factorial function. 
Example, four exclam oh god. Four exclamation point is four times three times two equals twenty-four. Here for every odd operator you have to divide you forgot to get in, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Could we start it again? What do we all think? Do we want to start it again for Vantaboard? I found my purpose in life to distract and meme in Chebble. <laughs> I'm so glad you remember Chebble. Everyone, Chebble is Twitch because it has a chat bubble as a icon. Should be able to join later. Well, maybe I'll put this in and you tell me. For every odd operator, you have to divide instead of multiply and round up only the result. So 5 exclamation point exclamation point is 5 times 4 divided by 3 times... Wait, why, what, why are there two exclamation points? So every time you hit an odd number, you have to divide and round up the result. Why are these always just maths? <laughs> it's what pure maths problems. Why is it... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Mathematics. Math. Math and mathematic. Anyway, only three is an odd operator. Wait, why is five not an odd operator? N five. So with the exclamation points, I don't know. And I mean, like this means this factorial means like four times three times two times one. I don't know why there are two here though. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the right accent, but yes. Which result though? Result or division or end result? I, I don't know. Who ask Speedy Gen? Speedy Gen, what is it? I mean, don't tell us the answer, but is it the result of division or end result? Found eight expected four. Okay, I swear I heard like some like animal or something in my room. It was just my brother outside. It's the ghost. <laughs> narwhal. <laughs> Nar narwhal. Nar. Wait, how do you do? Nar narwhal. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. How long have we been talking like this anyway? Oh my god, you got 11 extra minutes. <laughs> Someone say Nardwar. <laughs> like forever we're all British. Quite a while. Yeah, um, it's a half an hour redemption, so you lucky ducks, maybe. Or unfortunate ducks, I don't know. I really need to focus. Okay. Integer n, integer x whose result is sought from the what? The magic factorial function. Who writes these? The magic factorial function. So, <laughs> I can't get over the magic thing. Why is it magic? 12 expected 4. So, if it gives us 12, that would be 12 times 11 times, wait. You give up and you're happier now. 11 is odd. This problem's odd. Oh, wait. You divide instead of... Okay, wait a second. So 12 times 11. And then we would divide that. So 12 divided by 11 equals... 1? 1? Okay, I can do this pattern, but I don't know what it means. Should we put this into a calculator? Um, calculator. Hello, calculator? All right, 12 divided by 11 times 10 divided by 9 times 8 divided by 7 times 
6 divided by 5 times 4 divided by 3 times 2 divided by 1 equals 4. Okay, well, that is exactly what it gave us, but what? Does JS automatically do arithmetic with doubles? I don't know. Oh, I have a job I can't give subs anymore since you're all opposed to capitalism and such. The Southern Paiute family is in the same family as Aztec language. Just found out. Yeah, it's the Udo Aztecan or the Numic family. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Udo Aztecan. So Udo, that's like the Utes language, and that's like Paiute, and then there's like the Aztecan, like Nahuatl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lark. Even giving up, giving in to capitalism, I see. If you do like that in a calculator, it wouldn't exactly be correct, but it was. Wait, Gavin, do you speak, do you speak Nahuatl? I can't speak. Nahuatl. The most are my only reason, okay? Don't get it confused. Do you really? That's awesome. Some words and phrases? Did I say it right? Nahuatl. How do I say it? Is it, is it a k sound for the, is it like shimi kakan? Nahuatl. So you don't, you have to say the tl, not the tl, like Nahuatl, like that. You can't, you don't say that. Nahuatl. Nahuatl. Not to your knowledge? Okay, good to know. I may have gotten uh, off track, like always, because it's me. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. Sounds like silly in Spanish. Ooh, they get the Chileans. Buy a Chilean. So, I mean, I don't, I'm not doing that. I didn't redeem it again, so. Um, we would say four I equals zero. I is less than N. Increment I by one, probably. And then we say if... I divided by 2 equals 0, right? That means it's even, right? Did I start at 0? No. Is it 0? Is it all 0 in the end? No, it's not. Then I times I <laughs> else I divided by I. Do I know if this is going to work? Absolutely not. Console log n. We didn't think it was going to work anyway. I knew it wasn't going to work. Okay, yeah, that's not doing anything that we wanted to do. Why? Did you do a star star? Is that a thing? Oh, you know what? I don't think so because stop in chat. I'm going to become completely fluent in Nah, Nahuatl, wait, okay, Nahuatl, or Yucatec. That's awesome. What are your motivations for that? Mod, oh my god, thank you. That's what I was doing with my life. Doing wrong with my life. Well, it changed nothing, so that's cool. It's not doing anything. How about now? It's still not, no, oh, oh, mm, in progress. <laughs> it timed out. <laughs> Is that better than what we were getting before? <laughs> you want to learn a language not too many people know? And you just like the, how, how those ones sound? Or is it like the area? Look at my console log. What am I console logging in, I thought? Or am I supposed to console log I? Gonna time out, but I think it timed out. Well, don't change the I in the for loop. Yeah. Oh, that's M. N. Wait, why would we use this? Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. What if we just did that? Uh, 
unexpected token. Tate. Your tokens. These tokens look fucking right to me. What am I doing wrong with the tokens? I was having on my calculator. Did I start at zero? No, I start at 12. Why does it hate me? Say, I come on to go zero. I star equals or I divide equals. Where is it mod? I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> FML hates me. You can't see the whole prompt. There you go. 30 seconds. Oh no, I'm extremely competitive. You know, frankly, at this point, I'm really not sure what's happening with my life. Oh, you know what? This is totally here. So that's cool. Whatever. It's fine. Your Firefox crashed. But you didn't get anywhere? Um, Your last play. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what that meant. I don't know what I just did. Thanks for the sub, Vantaboard. Okay. These, these challenges are... These, these, these challenges, they're really something. Whale, give me access. If you want. All right, Scani. Let answer equals n. Let i equals, what? Why? n minus 1. Why? And i is less than or equal to 2. i minus minus. What the fuck? Hey, look, I kind of sort of did something like that, so I'm just I'm just going to pat myself on the back for being something like that line. Good job, Rufio. Do I speak Southern Paiute a little bit? So not as well as I'd like to, but I did listen to it a lot for four years and have worked with it a decent amount. So Starting number N is untouched. Why? All further sums are based on that? Hello, Rufio. Finally caught a stream live, you lucky fish. Well, welcome, turn down for rip. I'm happy to see you here. It's modulus. Wait. So it is checking if it's odd. Right. So this is saying, if it is even, then uh, I, I understand this. I just don't understand this. I never... I've always incremented by one. I've never subtracted. I've never decremented. Is that a thing? Answer is five. Count down from four to one. And either multiply or divide if it's odd or even. <laughs> Shadio would solve it. <laughs> that goes in the order you put in the calculator. Isn't with like all other factorials, you don't have to do it in a descending order? I have a headache. It's hard for if you made the problem. You're multiplying by zero. Whoa. <laughs> I live here now. Then if it's even, I equals two equals zero, multiply plus divide. Right, I did that part though, didn't I? Where am I? She's just a ghost. You can't even see her. Okay, I will show my code. I think I'm at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Joined your ghost brother. Oh no. I forgot to get rid of this line and it hated that for me, so that's cool. But alas. If you can't see me, do I even exist? Oh, the ghost. <laughs> oh no, Patonica. That means there's a ghost in Paiute. Okay. <sighs> Console log also breaks all test cases. What? Why didn't I decrement? Because I have never decremented in a for loop before. Also, I feel like I have solved the factorial problem and I was not decrementing. I output the input. 
No, I, I outputted I, I thought. You output the input. Oh, you know what? I did. You're right. So by incrementing, just don't start from zero. Also, don't multiply by zero. In a regular factorial, you don't divide. Miss a manifold on the matrix source code, that's why. I really never decrement in a loop? No, absolutely. I do not. I also am not the world's best coder, if you could not tell. But that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to be excellent. I'm here to be, to have fun. Hey, Maltese, thank you. Uh, it's been good. I mean, I've done four, five, I guess, pull requests so far. So that's exciting. And I've been, I've worked on like two tickets so far. I don't know how that works out. Anyway. Yeah. And I have flexible hours. I work remote. I've been working like a little more than 20 hour weeks. And there are no deadlines. Working on tickets is better than buying tickets. <laughs> so we're just basically we saying we don't want zero in here because it's going to fuck everything up, right? You have to decrement. I have to. You can't make me. Switch the initial I with the ceiling. Stop flexing, Rufio. Thank you, Maltese. I equals zero. I have less than n. It increments by one. Say I equals n. Oh, because you're starting from the top. And it's greater than zero. And you, okay, that makes sense. I just never decremented. Is that even a word? That's a word, right? Yeah, that's a word. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Even if it wasn't, I'm so cool. I make, a, I make it a word. I made it a word. I made it. And I had to say it three times to to really emphasize that, apparently. The increment is an autocorrect, so is mayonnaise a word? Did I or will I write a post on my journey? It could be really inspiring. Um, so I can. I have not. What would you want to see in that, out of curiosity? How did we feel about this one, everyone? How were we feeling? Were we feeling like ill or were we like, yeah, because I was feeling like ill. I wrote a mini post about it in celebrations. I did. That's true. You're keen for another. can also do fun stuff if I work with exponents. I times I or I times two. You honestly didn't like the site. Wait, what site? This site? <laughs> Scott is using increment. The coding game. Well, why would you open in that one? You win some, you lose some, huh? I think the reason why we like this is because we all can do it together, I guess. I don't know. I understand. Oh. All right. Interesting. Pop-ups. It challenged me. Can you believe it? Feeling behind on class 33 and super overwhelmed with all this stuff to do, and you're sure I felt those things, so perhaps insight would be motivating for folks to continue with the journey. Okay, I'll write that down. Um, wow, can you tell I haven't added ad block to this? I don't think that's the one I use. I think I use this one. Brilliant. Okay, wait a second. Um, I just have to make sure this doesn't pop up. Yep, it popped up. Oh no! Everything got dramatic. Okay, wait a second. I'll bring it back. Don't worry. Don't worry! Just gotta write down what people are saying. I'd like to be helpful where I can. Just hearing people talk about it is nice. I'm a good storyteller too. Oh, that's very nice of you turned down. Yeah, so you need more deeds. What deeds, out of curiosity? What are the deeds you would like? I started writing a, like a blog post about it because I've been, I have a journal and I like took part of my journal out where I talked about it, but there were so many parts. I was like, no one wants to read this. This is too chunky because I was going to put words between the parts too. So how to trick someone into thinking, you know what you're doing and they give me money. <laughs> Do I code for a hobby? Uh, no, I stream coding for a hobby. And I also code for money as a job. Coders hate her. Talk about how much better your life is than us jobless black. 
<laughs> oh my god. Do you have a special lighting setup? I have two bright lights. One's right here, one's right here, I guess. I mean, my desk is so not clean, so do not judge me for this. I'm not sure how this is going to work out for us. Okay. Hello. <sighs> I will turn us around. Okay, you see? Bright light. Bright light. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wrong angle now. Nice. Nice. It is not a good webcam now. <laughs> Does it feel odd to have such bright lights pointing at me? No, not anymore. Now I'm just like used to being blinded all the time, so. Talk about the new Lambos you've ordered. How long have I been coding? Two years. How long have I had a job? Two weeks in coding. Have the stream returned? Technically, my webcam also has like a light around it, but this is with it on. This is with it off. You tell me if that made any difference. I'm blind now, such a bright. No difference. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Wow, such difference. Much wow. What's my main language? JavaScript. In fact, that is the only language I know. Sometimes I go outside and stare at the sun because coding makes my brain itchy. Spanish. Oof. Where's the streamer? Is she gone? <laughs> Too blind to currently tell if there was a difference. <laughs> Why am I not blind? Okay, maybe it's because I'm not actually looking at them. This is me looking at them. Okay, actually, I can, I can, I can look at them. And I can still kind of read my screen, so that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Need eye drops after looking into an extremely bright light. I look like I'm considering buying a used car. <laughs> I just wiped this tear away and it didn't work for me. So that's cool. Ugh. I don't cry. Everything will be fine. I'm just so emotional. <laughs> How come I couldn't understand any of those coding games? No, it's okay. I don't really care. What purchases are on the radio radar? Radar. I can say words. When you get a job, you'll 100% cry. I think I did, actually. I, I did a little, so I stream, right? So clearly I love watching myself. I also vlog like little journal vlogs and I did a little journal vlog and I was like, oh my God, I did it. And I was like, I did it. And so I did cry then, but that was the only time. <laughs> when you get a job, your mom will cry. You cried too because you like cats. Oh my God. Hey, wait, this looks like a familiar answer. You stop, stop crying when you get a job. Bright lights make you cry. When you just rated me, just Google Advent of Code and read through day 12. That's why it took four plus hours. Advent of Code day 12. Ew, it looks gross. Why? With your submarine subterranean systems, subs subsisting suboptimally what is that called alliteration the only way you're getting on this cave anytime soon is by finding a path yourself not just a path the only way to know if you found the best path is to find all of them okay <laughs> this is advent of code day 12 i don't know where is it is this not it i thought this was it it does look chunky though these are solutions oh i'm sorry I really tried to not look at solutions. Sorry, sorry, everyone, sorry. This one? I did Google at, am I just clicking the wrong thing? Look at this, I did it, I did it. I did it. it was 2021, oh, thank God. <gasps> is it, this is actually says solutions. I was just trying to click the right one. What is it, where is it? Which one is it? Oh, and it wasn't the answers? You try contacting the elves using your handheld device. Why are these people, why are they, why are they saying things like this? But the river you're following must be too low to get a decent signal. What? You ask the device for a height map of the following area, your puzzle input. The height map shows a local area from above broken into a grid. The elevation of each square of the grid is given by a low, a single lowercase letter where A is the lowest elevation, B is the next lowest. I don't remember. I, I got lost. 
It does look very fancy, though. And it's like something I don't care to do. It's worth the read oh, of day 11. Continue reading. I don't want to. It looks boring. I feel bored. <laughs> Doing as few steps as possible. Move exactly one square up, down, left, or right. Elevation can be at most one higher than the elevation of a current square. That is, if your current elevation is M, you could step to elevation N, but not to elevation O. This also means that the elevation of the destination square can be much lower than the elevation of your current square. For example, gibberish. Nice. So you basically you have to make a grid and, it, and there are qualifiers. It reminds me of Othello. Each day adds more to the story. Oh, cute. For example, gibberish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, not Othello. For my worst coding interview, I had to code the game Othello. Um, and we did a coding stream with Alex6 and did it for like five hours on stream where we figured out how to print the, uh, the, what the board to the, what's it called? The, the console spent a lot of time, right? So I go to, <laughs> I go to this interview and they're like, okay, so first of all, we're going to give you this problem, which they actually hadn't told me before what it was. I found out secretly. Shh. Um, so they had, they're like, by the way, you're coding a cello and you get an hour to do it. We already programmed out the board. So you just figure out the game logic and, uh, we're not going to sit here with you. We're just going to come back after an hour. And I was like, because my plan had been to bullshit through it with someone by like using their brain, which is how I do all of coding apparently. Um, <laughs> And also, I had learned how to do the board logic, not the game logic. And so I was like, oh my god, I'm going to die. And then it was in, like, older JavaScript that I'd never used, like, class-based JavaScript. Yeah, so I actually had no idea what to do. So I just, like, commented through and was like, this is what I would do here. We need to do this here. And then when the person came back, they're like, you didn't write any code. And I was like... No, but like I did like um I did like it, I this is what I would do if I had done that. Like <laughs> and they were like Well, I mean, I was kind of hoping to see some code, but thank you for uh interviewing and I was like, "Mhm." Mm and then we hung up. I was like, "Okay, fuck that." Like I was not mm -hmm. and then they were like, "Sorry, we've decided not to move forward." I would kind of be concerned if they had, you know what I'm saying? But like maybe I would have been okay with it. So, there's there it is. If you ever want to get paid more, you definitely need to crawl your ass back to calculus and go advanced with calculus and differential equations and discrete mathematics. Ew. Roof, that was the worst interview I had ever heard of. It wasn't just your worst interview. It was the worst interview in the history of interviews. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that no one has had anything worse than that. TLDR, you have a 2D array from starting point S, go to E, where S equals A and equals Z. Find the shortest way from S to E, but you can only step through a single s letter. Yikes. In my celebration, I said I'd go into more details about the job. You're curious about the interview. If I've gone over this in a past stream, you can watch the VOD. Okay, so I didn't really have an interview. Um... Back in July or June, Blackboard was like, uh, so my company's probably going to be hiring in the fall. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. And then they kept kind of just telling me about it. And then in September, like, okay, we're actually hiring. And here, uh, like, you can talk with the CTO. And so the CTO reached out. And then I got on a call with the CTO. And the CTO was like, Vanta Board has been praising you to heaven. Like, you are, like, the shit according to Van or like Vanta Board. I almost said Vampire Board. Anyway, and I was like, oh, okay. They're a really great person. They're like, yes, they are a really great person. And then was basically like, so anyway, I'm not going to have you do a coding challenge or anything because Vanta Board's seen you, like, code. They say you stream coding, and I trust them. So this is basically when you would start. This is our, and like, I was like, oh my God, like, did I get this job? And then later that week I talked to the CEO and it was about the same thing. Um, and then 
they are a small startup so they were doing their series a fundraising and they didn't get the funds to hire me until like a month and a half later so there you go a good paint for you to borrow ever written conroy's game of life no ew that sounds gross did you respond to yourself <laughs> You may feel like you don't need math, but it's the strongest tool for getting better at programming because of its incredible ability to increase problem solving skills. Oh. Oh. I don't have any degrees in CS? No. Uh, philosophy in Spanish. That's what my degree is in. I did exclamation point 100 devs, exclamation point Discord, a free online JavaScript uh, bootcamp and agency where it's like it's completely 100 percent free you learn web dev you learn front end and you learn back end and they do some stuff to help you get a job like some career counseling not like directed but like they have some advice so if you're interested in that the discord you can check that out or 100 devs the explanation more 100 devs tells you more about that so yeah that's who i stream with i stream with 100 devs only you have fun job but also fix sam and they took me in and they took me in Oh no, it did it really not work again? I reset this earlier today. What the fuck? Okay, hold up everyone. This makes me grumpy. I really did. Does Discord work? Oh, it does. Why doesn't 100 devs work? Oh no, it does. Okay, thank God. You took philosophy too. What school did I like the most? You really enjoyed existentialism, but have I read any Buell? Have not read any Buell. Uh, existentialism was what got me into philosophy. Once I got into philosophy, Everyone was like, existentialism isn't real philosophy. I still like it the best, though. Thanks, Dev. Where you're from, you can't really land a job if you don't have any degree, except if you're really, really good at programming. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say it's that way in the U.S. That's where I'm from. Uh, you, I think skills are super important. I do think a lot of people who have a degree in it do have a bit of an advantage, but you can absolutely do it without being super good at it. You just have to network your ass off. And I don't know if I networked my ass off, but, like, technically what I did was networking. Like, Vantaboard found me on streaming, you know? You can get degrees easier when you're from. Try, like, Nietzsche. I don't... I haven't looked into existentialism for, like, six years, so I could not tell you. I'm a really shitty philosopher. Um, I, like, basically didn't understand any of it my whole degree, and I was, like, just constantly being like, why am I so dumb? Why is this, why does this make absolutely no sense? Like, dude, why? Barkley, we're not all in, in your brain. You know, like, anyway, um, was never a particularly good, like, philosopher, so that's fine. Who is Vantaboard, part of Blackboard? Yeah, so Vantaboard renamed to Blackboard, or er, from Blackboard, okay. Existentialism was what people discover when they're, when they think, like, oh my god, I'm gonna die someday. Does learning philosophy help with existential thoughts? I think it can. I think existentialism certainly does. Who is Vampire Board? Uh, Vanta Board's alter ego. You legitimately thought I was British? <laughs> That's very flattering. I hear it's a really awful accent. The consequences of my... I know, I'm sorry. Sometimes I think about paying for, like, Twitter so I can recorrect your name there. Vampire Board is Vanta Board and Vanta Board is King Charles, I heard. Dark Rubio, Dark Peter, Dark Dan, and now Vampire Board. You can only edit tweets for like 12 hours after making them. We'll rip. <laughs> Heavy sigh. It's a good thing I never paid for it then. Like in the USA of A, it's usually college or uni. Nothing else as far as you know. But where you're from, where are you from? You can also get a degree in something after doing middle school. Oh, wow. Can I guess I'm a tip at Blackboard? I, I, I did Blackboard's name wrong, okay. It was back when they were Blackboard. And, and I made the mistake and it was too late. <laughs> Germany, okay. That makes sense. Nice to see me. You're new with, in the programming field and you want to learn a lot with me. Oh, learn a lot with me? <laughs> I'm not sure how... Thank you. My brother just gave me pasta. Um, how well you'll learn with me because I'm not particularly good at coding but I'm glad to have you here and I'm glad to have you learn along with me because I'm learning stuff I'm not doing particularly well at it but that's okay um Delga if you do exclamation point 100 devs exclamation point discord you can join a free full stack javascript bootcamp that I did 
that teaches you like web development, front end and back end, and that might also be helpful to you. So we get jobs, dark roof here. That's so nice from the ghost. Did you know ghosts could make you pasta? The icons disappeared. What, really? If I had to recommend some entry-level learning material on existential philosophy to get your toes wet, is there a specific course or book that you'd recommend? I have some... Ugh. Let me be free, chair. Hello? Excuse me? Okay. Um, I have some philosophy books ugh, yonder. I have to see if... Any of them are the flaw, the existential book I read. Ugh. Ugh. Slowly but surely will make my way to the bookshelf while still being connected to this computer. This is a really long thing. Okay. I do not appear to still have it, which sucks. Review? Hmm. 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 Well, let me look on this fucking cord. Love that. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay. Good. Nice. I like that. The chair just get a hello. I am. I don't discriminate if you're an animate or an animate or inanimate object. <laughs> you took the book. Did I ever try a strongly typed language? No, I only know JavaScript and TypeScript. So that's more strongly typed, but it is not, I believe, a strongly typed language, right? I have no books matching existential. Are you serious? Okay, well, apparently I don't have any books, but I would recommend Sartre, Nietzsche, who are the other typical existentialists? I really like Dostoevsky. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have any books specifically, I guess I would say. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can read online, like The Myth of Sisyphus you can read online. I know because I did recently because I was trying to find justification for a drawing I was making. But... Yeah, I, there was a book I read in college, and I do not know what it's called. It might be called From Existentialism to Something. Existentialism. Oh, yeah. Here it is. It's called Existentialism from Dostoevsky to Sartre. Existentialism from Dostoevsky to Sartre. Sartre. Okay, there you go. All right. Strongly typed is a language where you have to specify types everywhere. Why did I get interesting in the pro interested in the programming field? Because of the lifestyle offered. Great job prospects, pays well, can work remote, you know, has a lot healthier of a... Oh, sorry. Dynamic than, uh, like, medicine, which is what I was going to go in before. So, like, that's why. TypeScript can be strongly typed, but you have to enforce in the config. C++ is an example of strongly typed language because you won't have to specify. You have to specify the type or it won't compile. JavaScript is weakly typed. Strongly typed means if you say X is an int, it can't be anything else. Afterwards, and it will show you an error before even executing. I saw electrocuting, and I feel like that works. Share the pasta. I'd recommend Sartre. Yes. Got Heidegger. <laughs> You read Being in Nothingness cover to cover, and conceptually it's interesting, but it's a freaking bore. Do I use Redis in my job? No. Am I doing Advent of Code today? No. More coding game? Probably not. I probably should wrap up stream pretty soon. I just want to, like, make it through the chat. Crime and Punishment is one of a really good book, probably your favorite. I read it in, like, when I was 16, and I really liked that book. Like, there's so much to, like, think about. Um, so... Agreed. If you start cutting, will you get Leon's amazing hair? I mean, I wish. I like my hair, but it's no Leon hair. Reading the myth of Sisyphus is what got you into trouble in the first place. Ah, there you go. I'll try and see if uh, if I can like think of anything else that I've really liked. 
Lost Stars and Amazon reviews. Somewhat so, though, so perhaps Goodreads is the way to go for books now. So if I have Goodreads. Um, and normally I do, if I like a book, it will be three stars. If I kind of don't really like a book, but like it's fine, it's two stars. If I don't like a book, it's one star. If I'm like, yeah, that was a good book, it's four stars. If it's five stars, oh my god, that's one of the best books I've ever read. But recently I was going through and looking at reviews and I was like, only picking books based on if they were four stars and above. And then I thought about it. I'm like, this isn't fair. Like, why would I, like, on how I rate books, I should be fine with three stars. And yet I look for four. So lost a bit of the nuance, but I've started rating books I like as four stars. And if I really like them, they're five. So, okay. What's your favorite coding la language, Lion? Remember Sartre's whole chapter devoted to the being of the phenomena versus the phenomena of being in regards to tree. Nice. Do you rating system two? It's the kind of review system you need. I think one of the best parts of existentialism for me is that, like, so I left religion when I was 18, my religion, I guess, um, and, you know, you, it kind of leaves a vacuum because your whole life you're told what the meaning of life is, and there was no meaning of life after that point, but existentialism, I can't remember who it was that said it, someone was like, what is the meaning of life? There isn't any. It's the meaning you make it, and I've gone by that for the past since I've been 18 I think I'm 25 I don't know the difference in like six seven years anyway so you want the hundred hours to be like good reason for restaurants Ooh. your favorite c-sharp you know java c++ and c right 17 orthodox judaism oh interesting well, I hope you're doing okay since leaving that's your philosophy. Welcome to nihilism-ish. It's like not quite nihilism, is it? It might be. I don't know. You might enjoy Buddhist philosophy. It gets into what things really are. Maybe. Is optimistic nihilism? Yeah. I could see that. Because, like, I don't know. I don't think there is anything bigger or, like, no, no, like, it's totally cool if you do. But, like, there's nothing greater and I think I used to think that even if like whatever meaning you decided had to be a big deal but now I don't think so so I was like relatively suicidal in 2020 and I was like look I just need like any reason to keep going and my reason to keep going in 2020 was no joke Witcher 3 because I really liked playing it and I think that's all you really need like whatever it is that you enjoy whatever brings value to your life like that is a good enough reason I think that's a good enough meaning to life Nietzsche gets into creating our own reason for being. Yep, that sounds like what I'm saying, huh? Life has no meaning. However, you're not defeated by that fact. It empowers you to find your own meaning. Is my family religious? Yes. Nihilism is basically just a philosophy that there exists no moral truth. It's equivalent to moral anti-realism, which is a more complex modern framework. Which is three is great. Agreed. Getting a software engineering job gives meaning to your life. And that's great. It That is how it had been for me, too. And now it still gives meaning to my life, having one. I think a lot of people who get into the program are at the low point of their life. You're waiting on the good days now. And they may take a while. Like, I was in the trough of sorrow. I said this earlier in stream. From, like, February 2021 to November 2022. It A lot of it sucked. Like, there are a lot of good parts, but, like, it's so hard to stay hopeful and to keep going. And I used to say this and be like, but it probably works out. And now I can say, but it works out. Because it has for me, at least. You're learning about your own beliefs on this stream. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> it is so easy for me to just talk about super deep stuff. And I feel like sometimes that's a problem. You don't have any other choices, so here's hoping. Hoping and doing and networking and asking for help and just continuing doing you're on the job hunt and it's depressing sometimes it really is like it sucks and people are like don't just don't don't like hope about anything and you'll be fine and I would try not to hope but I would always hope you know and then I would get down when I got a rejection I didn't even like like interview that many places I think I had like 15 interviews do you wish you'd be my friend? Everyone here, we're all friends here. You're my friend. You're hanging out in my chat. You used to think everything would work out without putting any effort. 
it's so hard to feel the same way once you actually put in the effort because now you're completely responsible for making it work out, which is scary. Adulting. Life is complex and interesting, sometimes shallow, sometimes deep. Yeah. And anyone who's in 100 devs, I didn't do the majority of the homework. I Like, would I half do it and then never finish it? I've never coded tic-tac-toe. I never did a to-do app. I didn't do any of that because I was... I just... Uh, not motivated, depressed, I don't know. So, it can still work out for you if you don't do those things. Like, obviously, I think it would have worked out for me sooner if I had done them, but not everyone has, like, the privilege of, like, mental effort or time or, you know, etc. Crippling depression and ADHD will do that to a person, but all you really need is to do it eventually. Exactly. At some point, like, just, like, I do think that you do need to code, and I think, for me, like, I really needed someone to help me, and that's why or streaming has been really nice. You're overwhelmed by the amount of time homework takes. You want to jump through all the classes fast, but at the same time, you want to be thorough. I kept up with the classes and not with the homework. So, like, I think it would be good, but, like, make sure you're taking care of yourself because burning out won't help you. One day at a time, make good habits slowly, but be sure to make them. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know how many good habits I have, <laughs> Come back to the coding theme. You want an example of C sharp with strongly typed thingies? Google C sharp list example and click on the C sharp corner website. I mean, I believe you about C sharp. I'm like, at this point, I'll learn a new coding language when I'm required to, you know? I feel like I need to get better at the stuff I currently am doing. Like, I know it, but I need to get better. You need to take two to sync breaks. You wouldn't have made it if you didn't do that. Wait, Grat, weren't you doing an interview a bit ago? You know that your cutting habits are good, but Defo doesn't feel that way in the moment. Also, it would not have made it without others saying you can do this. I bother when Carbon is right around the corner. I'm gonna learn COBOL and get a sweet, sweet legacy job. Perfect. You had a final last weekend and doing a technical with a diff company on Wednesday and how are you feeling about it all and what field of programming do I want to target do I want to target or who um web development I don't know I don't like really care does that sound bad like I am in a coding job for reasons different than that I like coding I like coding with people I like the camaraderie I like the benefits it gives me but like I don't know, like, I, I don't care to be like, yes, I would really like to move into machine learning. As long as I'm in a job that I generally like, I'm, I'm chill. I hate being asked that question, you're the exact same. Whatever pays well, there you go. You have a hard time focusing when you're studying your programming courses. Not so much when you're doing a coding test, it's weird. I think you have to apply it, right? You don't give a fuck whatever will give you an industry. You feel good about the final. For the technical, they want you to do a few coding challenges and walk through a project you have. Definitely prepared for that. Will keep me updated if anything happens. Dramatic happens. Please do. Even if it's not dramatic. <laughs> Can add the flavor text to try documentation. <laughs> Lobo ramen. Lobo flavoring. MSG. I don't know. I'm just saying shit. All right, I probably should eat this probably somewhat cold pasta. <laughs> so let's raid someone who doesn't have very many viewers. That means like five or below, ideally. What tips do you have for making personal coding projects? You've been told they're very important and really want to do them, but you have no idea where to start. What are you interested in? Like, what, like, yeah, what are you interested in? I will give you an example. <laughs> Basically, my only example We've worked on this one a bunch on this stream. Um, so this is the Southern Paiute Talking Dictionary. In college, I helped try and preserve the Southern Paiute language, but we didn't really have any way to like actually like, preserve it. And so we decided to make an online talking dictionary. So I would basically make a database for the words, but more importantly, have an audio 
alongside it so that when people read the words and said, I don't know how to say that, they could just click on it and hear the elder. So, um, so like, okay, this is not, I probably should look, okay, I love that bug. I really need to update this. Okay. So you see that and you're like, I don't even know what that's, how, I don't know. And then you click this. And you're like, cool, it's gacha mururu naramwa Now I can say, you cannot be lazy in Paiute. Um, and so like this was something that I did for four years. I did those recordings like four hours a week for, I guess, technically three years in college. And so this is something I really wanted to make, was really passionate about. Make things like this. What are you interested in? Are you interested in languages? Are you interested in cooking? Like what do you do in your spare time? Do you want to make, I knew someone on Twitter who made like a Tekken app, you know? So that's what I say. How does the search function work? Uh, it, so I have a, I don't know specifically how to answer that, but it searches through the MongoDB database that I've connected it to. Beyond that, I couldn't really tell you because it's been a while. <laughs> and get help. Ask for help. Find a community. If you do exclamation point discord, you can join the 100 devs community and get help that way. Recent chat of GPT recent, really took all your enthusiasm for your CS studies. I still haven't gotten into it on news. You meant to say, what can you input? Oh, you can input any words. There are just only a certain amount of words in the database right now. So I could type in fish, but there's nothing in the database about fish. I could type in lazy. And it's like, oh, I see the lazy. So I think I go word by word. If it includes this word, I don't know. Wait a second. It probably is like literally every word. Yep. <laughs> so, Do I have this on GitHub? Yeah, I do. Let me share it with you really quick. Have I been in South America? Yes, I have. I've lived in South America, but only for six weeks. There you go. I'm a national treasure. <laughs> no, you. Glad I found some way. Add some fish. I really should. I just need to see if she said anything about fish ever. She probably has. The purpose of the login. Um, the purpose of the login is so not everyone can, like, input stuff to the database. So if I do this, it's not even going to let me in. But once I log in, because I put me as an admin in the database, it's like, oh, chill. You can totally add words to the database. So that's why. You don't want to hear to add fake fish. That's not allowed. It's absolutely not allowed. Very bad thing to happen. And please let me know if there's anything else that I can do to help you. I don't know what I can do, but like whatever I can, I'm happy to try and help. Would I say it took me about 100 hours to make the project? Oh. Uh, no. It took me probably 60 hours to get the MVP. I put over 200 hours in it at this point, I think. You worked on your project for 71 hours? Nice. How do you find open source MERN stack project to contribute to? Does anyone know the answer to that question? An ASMR a stream of someone who actually eats their pasta like a good sister. I will eat it. We just have to end the stream. I promise. I'm, I feel bad at this point. I've been having a good time, though. Thanks, Vantaboard. I appreciate you putting in a... Putting in a, a what is, what's it called? Project thing. Will I stream tomorrow? No. I'm planning on streaming on Thursday. Trying to figure out how it's going to work because my brother will be working at the same time. But we're going to be doing an accessibility co-stream with our friend Africa Kenya. Uh, they started streaming recently on Twitch. And I would, we're going to look over the project I just showed you and do accessibility stuff with it. Because I know almost nothing about it. So... Kind of gives you the confidence that your web development degree could never achieve. I'm glad to hear that. I will see you on Thursday for our accessibility stream. It's gonna, it's actually gonna happen this Thursday, I promise. And then we probably will move it to Wednesdays after this next week, so. And then also have the Christmas break, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is for you. Bye, bye.